Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here and welcome back, er, sorry, Bandicoot Commando 95 here and welcome to my brand new let's play of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Or if you live in Europe, it's known as Sly Raccoon. So, Sly Cooper, a great series for the PlayStation 2, one of my childhood PS2 games, along with Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank. So, uh, yeah, that's all I could say. So, I'm doing this on my PS2, and much like Jack and Ratchet, there is an HD trilogy for your for the PS3 and the PS Vita, but there's one reason why I didn't want to do those, so I'll explain that at a much later point. So without further ado, let us, well, before we begin, let me pull up the menu. Okay, never mind. I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Alright, here we go. Alright, so before we get moving, Sly is... Oh, it's gonna show these. Sly, Sony Computer Entertainment of America. So, what makes this game different from the later games is that it was more traditionally platformy, if anything. And wow, this camera's fast. Is there a way to change that camera? Center screen. No, there isn't. Hmm. Oh, well. I'll just have to get used to the camera speed again. So, Sly... Uh, it's a good game. That's all I could say. So, these coins. We will need coins because they are important. Bentley the Turtle. I love how it's going through these names and not giving their voice actors. And Murray. It won't... Featuring the Fiendish Five. Get up here. Hey Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Yep. Anytime you see any of these blue sparkles, just hold circle. And introducing Car Carmelita Montoya Fox as the inspector. Okay, so jump and you can double jump. Alright, so let's get going. In a world populated by anthropomorphic animals. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. Yeah, so... Thing is, lasers, as I... How do I... Can I not... Oh, you press L1. It's different in later games. Lasers and other similar systems like that, you hit them, the alarm goes off here. Doesn't mean you're in trouble, but if you hit a laser again, it'll be red and it'll be red hot and it'll burn you, so you don't want that. Hit these alarms to disable 
lasers and other security systems. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carbolita Fox's office is behind the red door. Red door. I know where it is. I'm just looking, seeing. Yeah, there it is. It's a shame though, because as I get up here. Yeah, it's a shame they don't use that symbol for Carmelita. Right, we need to go around on the outside. Okay, here it is. Oh, why don't we look at these notes here? That go all over America, or not America, around the world. I can't read the gibberish handwriting. Oh, I'm making it worse. Um, clearly... A bad thief if I'm gonna smash things. Oh, yep, that's even worse. Let's just get these coins. Way to go, Sly. This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. 93. There we go. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. You betcha. Put his little calling card there, just to let you know where he's been. It's yeah. If you try hitting safes or similar tough objects, that happens. Okay, nothing. Alright, let's get out of here. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Okay, time to get out of here. I should say, Sly does not have a health bar. In this game, at least. So, you take a hit, it's over. But don't worry, there's a way to extend your hits, as I'll call it. Watch where you're shooting, Carmelita. Jeez. Did you take lessons from the stormtroopers on... Well, that's a first. I've never had that happen to me. What? Um, how do you... Okay, that brings up the... Yeah, I know, but... Huh. There isn't a way to do that. Okay. Still, what? I've never had that before. That's never happened to me. Never. There's always time for something new, but still. Wow. There. Bentley was probably going to tell you about how to disable the alarm. If you get caught in it. Okay, please tell me I don't have to open up the safe again, though. Wow, what a way to ruin the the action. Oh yeah, it is a hundred. I thought it was fifty coins for some reason. Okay, well, I don't have to open that again and Hi Carmelita. Care to try this again? Alright, let's do this right this time. Okay, boys, let me go. You can't escape me, raccoon. Well, I just did. 
All right, let's find out. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoons. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Well, there's the story you need to know. Okay, when the following icon appears, yes, that's your autosave. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Yep, so Bentley's if you want to... Rewatch any cutscenes, and yeah, we got quite a few number of them. I've already plotted a route to our first target. This is our first level we could do. And if you want, you could scroll over to the next area and see Murray, and Murray's always going to do something. Like, here he's eating peanuts. Oh. You want? One? <laughs> Murray's just funny. That's all I could say. Okay, um, I don't think... Yeah, yeah, I know, Bentley, but I think in the European or Japanese version, you can't scroll over to Murray and press X. Alright, let's go. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. I love how every time you start like a new episode, as I'll call it, it treats it as if it is like a TV show, a stealthy approach. Alright, so, uh, anytime you're in these beginning levels, if you want, you can always jump back in the van. But, um, so before we start, I got a few things I need to say. One, this copy of mine is pretty old, kind of beat up, so some cutscenes may not play right, but I did get this checked out at my disc replay to see if they can straighten it. And I like how Sly's tail is twitching a bit. Uh, I did have the disc checked out, so hopefully it will work fine. <gasps> so, uh, let's go. Again, we're going to need these coins for something special. Hey, Sly! I just spotted some 
something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, my climb move. Climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Okay, so, in each area we go to, there are technically three different objectives. One of them is to just get to the end, but the other one involves these bottles. Now this is um, I'm pretty sure Bentley was supposed to actually speak during that whole thing. So I don't know if it's, again, if my game's old or if it just got glitched out, but these clue bottles are important to something as well. So let me just grab them. These bottles can be hard to find because they're often in places where you might have to really take your time out to look. I can't turn back. Well, I can, but it's going s Oh. Okay. Early PS2 game from Sucker Punch. Oops. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so Sly has no health, like I said. So he's a one-hit wonder, and already I'm doing bad. Maybe it's just because I haven't played this game in ages. I think I still have a health bar like the later games, but let's actually focus. By the way, if you see a symbol with Bentley down there with L1, that's if you want to rehear any of his little messages he sends out. So if I can get 100 coins already so I can demonstrate what they can do that would also help me at the same time so I can benefit from it just be careful Sly is quite vulnerable to many things like that fire like the fires on these torches I probably can hit by accident and die from it now luckily for us not all of our enemies are tough much like Sly they are one hit wonders I'm off my game. I am really off my game. Alright. This time, I got it. Because once you get a hundred coins, you get a horseshoe, or a lucky charm as they want to call it. This acts as your hit point. You can only have two of them at a time. There. Okay. So let me break that. Do you break that? Yeah, you break this to... Knock the clue bottles down. I'm going to try and get everything that the game will offer. So, I don't know if it's always 20 clue bottles per area, so... Okay, so here we go. Use our climb move. Whoa. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Yeah, so, um, let's see. One, much like lasers, do not get caught by searchlights because they'll turn red and they will burn you if you run through them. Don't touch the thorn plants either. And yeah, sometimes, as you saw there, sometimes alarms will close gates, so you need to disable them to get through. So before I move, before I get those bottles, let me get rid of this guy. All right. I think, think my groove for the game is starting to come back to me, so it's just... Oh, I don't even remember the last time I played, not just this game, but Sly in general. Come here. Okay. According to my amphibial positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. 
the rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. You tell him, Sly. All right, so this guy's gonna breathe fire. I should say, these Warris goons uh, in the beta used to be purple, but... <gasps> okay, another f fun fact. Sly can't be over bottomless pits, nor can he not swim, which is ironic, because raccoons can swim somewhat well. This is really fast-moving water, so just keep jumping. Although, I love how the manuals do justify why Sly can't swim, but I'll get into that detail later. Get you. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Hooks, rings, whatever. By the way, um, during those conversations, if you move the left or right stick, you can move their heads. Just kind of something funny you can do. All right, bring it on, big guy. I'm gonna keep my eyes up. Sly, Sly, come on. I'm just keeping my eyes out very carefully for bottles and everything. Oh, if you pause, you can see your things. Okay, so I got two lives. What a great start I'm having. Hi. Hopefully the. <laughs> I was about to say, hopefully this game won't give me too much trouble. Oh my god, I'm just having a bad day. And that's all it took. There. I love whenever you encounter enemies, the music actually kind of picks up the pace and gets a little more uh, serious, as I'll call it. Okay. I know I can do this. I played this game like... I know this game like the back of my hand, pretty much. I'm just not having a good run. And we're at, like, what, one lives, two lives? I don't know if zero counts or not. But if it does, I'm just going to keep going. It's hard to walk in this game because when you move, Sly by default just runs. I'm just going to have to rely on my jumping. Okay, another checkpoint. Okay, let's see. You think you're cool because you wear a leather jacket and you can throw starfish. Okay, disable the alarm and pick up the bottles. Okay, there's only... That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. That's what I want. But first, I have to find the rest of the bottles and... I have 16, and I doubt the last four are in here, so I have to, I have to probably backtrack. Well, two of them are here, at least. So maybe the last two are over there. I see, yep, they're there, okay. Later game, or later games. Later levels put them in tougher spots. You found it, Sly! have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. Nine. There we go. Let's see what we got. Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Press the triangle button to use it. Okay, so every level will have a, a, a vault, a safe vault. And every time you get a page, it will either give you a different little skill or it'll give you something useful. So in this case, we have the dive move. It's just a little extra attack. I think you can use it from the air, too. Oh, no? Okay. Well, let's uh, see what that is and we'll be done with this level. So, keys, 
You need keys to open up locks and stuff. So, like this. There we go. And anytime you see a green light like that, that means you're at the end. So here we are, prowling the grounds. Alright, honestly, I'm going to stop here, though. So that will do for this episode of Sly Cooper, the Thebius Raccoonus. Join me next time as we explore uh, Raleigh's hideout and go to another level. I hope you'll enjoy this new Let's Play, despite my blunders already, but... Time will tell if I can get better at this, so I've been wanting to do Sly for quite a long time, and this was, along with Jack and Daxter and Ratchet, this was another part of my childhood on the PS2 gr growing up, so yeah. That is it, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, you want one?